doctor arrested for participating in the January 6th Capitol riots, just facing a judge this afternoon. And these are some of the images that were released by the FBI of that doctor. She's accused of attacking officers at the Capitol and it was caught on body camera. The FBI says the doctor then bragged that she was ready for violence before January 6th. But she didn't have anything to say to WBZ's Courtney Cole as she left the courtroom this afternoon. Dr. Jacqueline Starrer was not a woman of many words as she walked out of the federal courthouse today. Do you have anything to say about your actions? This afternoon, the 68-year-old doctor was formally charged by a judge for her role in the Capitol attack on January 6th, 2021. Anything to say to your patients? In images in her case paperwork, you can see here Dr. Starrer wearing red, captured a number of times on what is referred to as open source video and Metropolitan PD body camera. Most notably, MPD body camera footage captured Starrer making contact with an officer. In case paperwork, that officer confirmed that Starrer punched her in the left side of her head. According to documents related to her case on January 11th, a tipster told the FBI they were aware prior to the events of January 6th that Starrer planned to attend a march on the Capitol. The tipster went on to say that she bragged to a mutual acquaintance that she, quote, was prepared for it with a mesh knife proof shirt and bottles of pepper spray. Right. I mean, at this point, we just don't have a comment. She's been arrested. We're going to evaluate the case and go from there. Dr. Guys, Starrer guys, was guys, an employee at Brigham and Women's me. Faulkner Hospital in Jamaica Plain, but the hospital tells us in part that she was a per diem employee who was no longer active at our organization. Dr. Starrer was released under the conditions that she cannot leave the continental U.S. She cannot leave the state of Massachusetts without notification, and she cannot travel to D.C. unless she is meeting with counsel about her case. She's due to make her next first appearance in D.C. virtually on December 27th at 1 p.m. Reporting outside of the federal courthouse, I'm Courtney Cole, WBZ News.